Southern Railway 4501 is departing Grand Junction bound for East Chattanooga. end of the wrap-up to TVRM's 60th anniversary celebration is well underway with two Missionary Ridge locals in operation, one steam and one diesel powered. Not long after 4501 rounds the curve in the distance, Tennessee, Alabama and Georgia Railway number 80 arrives from its run. The 80 will hold in the station for an hour until the 12.30 p.m. departure. I wanted to see the meet between the two trains taking place, so I made the short hike down to the bridge over South Chickamauga Creek. On the way there, one can find this piece of TVRM history. This concrete tunnel was at one time used for storing a park train which ran at the museum in the 1980s. The train was long since removed, but the tunnel storage building where it was kept remains to this day. After rooting through the woods, I made it to the bridge and the new South Chickamauga Greenway. Running from Camp Jordan in East Ridge to its connection with the River Walk, which takes you to downtown Chattanooga, this is a really nice hiking and biking trail, which passes under the trestle allowing for filming and photographs on both sides now, a feat previously impossible to do without being in a boat down on the creek. From this angle, you can see the original bridge piers which held the right-of-way long ago, before it was raised due to massive floods at the time to its current position. On the opposite side of the bridge is the siding at McCarty, where the trains would be passing each other. 4501 holds the main line while Tag 80 comes across the bridge. They go in the hole, running around the train, and continue on their journey. After Tag 80 clears, and with no shortage of whistle blowing, 4501 departs for Grand Junction.
After this, I made the long walk back up the hill to Grand Junction and TVRM's new display building. Opened in 2021, it contained several artifacts from the museum's collection which previously had been stored, like this curious piece of rusted metal. Here's all that's left of the tank on 4501's original tender, which is now being used by the 630. Also inside were several visiting model railroad exhibits adding to the variety. Also open today for tours was the Southeast Division NMRA layout. This layout models the Southern Railway's Cincinnati, New Orleans, and Texas Pacific Railway. The space is leased from TVRM, who now own the former NMRA headquarters building. It's an awesome layout. <laughs> And with that, that wraps up the, well, wrap up to TVRM's 60th year of operation. It was a lot of fun to be out today, and I, now as ever, look forward to seeing what the museum has planned for the future. At the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum in Chattanooga, Tennessee, this is Ravenhawk 6910, signing off.